Let me back up here. I got to show you this picture. <laughs> this is crazy. So we've got Paulette and Renee in the middle. They're going to recurve. Bermuda has to watch it. Paulette could be a cat too. The one in the west of us in the Gulf, that's going to move towards Mexico. Small chance for developing. The one to the east I talked about, 50% chance, but that as it's moving westward and away from us in the Gulf. 95L has that 95% chance. That one has to be watched. And the one coming off of Africa as well. I'll watch for any rotation here. I'm not seeing it, but that's something that we have to watch really closely. This is Paulette. Paulette, you can see, look at this. Category 2, 100 mile per hour winds as it moves past Bermuda on Monday. So that's something they're going to have to watch. Renee actually does try to curve. You see how it kind of comes up and then comes westward. This will be interesting because this could open the door for 95, which would likely be Sally which is way down here, to actually become uh, further to the north. Right now, the modeling suggests this thing goes all the way back out towards the west. This is the latest GFS model. And this is 10 days out, guys. But I wanted to show you this because the models now, see how it's further down in the Caribbean? And then it's Hispaniola towards Cuba. One on the east side of Florida. Some take it over Florida. Some go on the west side of Florida. 10 days out, whatever the model is going to say, it's going to say. I just know looking at that, that that's the one that we need to watch. So we're going to watch it for you very, very closely. No need to panic or anything like that at this particular point. There are some indications that it might turn before it gets here. So that would be the good news. A little bit drier as we get into Tuesday, but certainly Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we'll cut back those rain chances.